Live from Lala Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Hockey East men's action as the Merrimack Warriors get set to take on the Maine Black Bears. Looking for Lepinen on the half wall. Lepinen with a bouncing puck back to Hillier. Now Demon controls inside the blue line over to Hillier. Puck popped over his stick for a moment. Now Jeffries near circle. They get it low and in front Capone couldn't get the shot away. Now they get it in the slot. Score! Capone for the second night in a row scores the game's first goal. It's a power play marker for Merrimack at 8:37. One nothing Merrimack. It's just you know you've got teams that for whatever reason they start to get, they get in the league play and it's a battle all night. Now BU scored twice within 10 seconds during that game. Here's a quick shot right on Borghili makes the save. That was a great chance by Jacob Sirota by the way he Buck worked in wide of the Merrimack net. The Warriors able to send it around and it's Renwick in low for Maine. He'll send it back to the point. Antonacci rolls it toward the goal. They get a stick on it right to the goal. Score! A backhand swipe from the edge of the crease. And Maine will tie the game at one. We went right through the legs of Borgiel. There to be able to take that puck away. Here's Brown from the point. Shot! Score! Mike Brown from the point. Let's see if it was deflected on the way through. It should be Brown's goal. That makes it a two to one Merrimack lead. Fourteen sixteen will be the time. The rebound, and he knocked that one just wide. Demon shot block, rebound to the goal. Osmond save, score! Matt Capone with his second of the period, second of the game, and third overall on the weekend. Merrimack cashes in on the power play. It's three to one. What a weekend for Matt Capone. Third goal in two nights, and again the puck movement continues for the Warriors. And Capone, again, he scored one like that last night. He's right there down low. He's already got one goal tonight. Maine forces the puck out to center ice. Where Briar will work across ice. Here comes Bookman into the zone. Briar is there. Briar back in the slot. Back to Bookman. Score! Zach Bookman with his first collegiate goal as the Warriors pick up their third power play goal of the night. That is as pretty as a goal as you'll ever see. Well, Zach Bookman, who broke Kale McCaw's records in junior, you can see how dangerous he is. The defenseman, but plays a lot like a forward, plays at both ends. And Moving it to the near circle is Breen. His shot blocked aside. Hansen will dig it back to the point. Now Brazil over to Chabrier. Chabrier along the ice, it rolls into Borgiel, puck pops in the air, and they score! Well, a uh, shot by Chabrier, the initial shot was stopped by Zachary Borgiel, and the Black Bears will cut this deficit in half, four to two. Felix Trudeau, with some Merrimack players in the area, but he got away with it. Over the line comes Breen with a shot, Borgiel the save. And they knocked the rebound to the far boards. Yeah, good opportunity. Breen with the chance. Poisson was there just a little bit too late. Maine getting their share of chances. As the Black Bears send the puck in low. Here's Trudeau trying to center one. Puck right out in front of Borgiel. And they bat at it. And the Black Bears think it's in. Yeah, I think and it's it in is. their goal. Relentless pressure by Maine. Heavy battling going on. Puck comes to the near wall. And the Warriors get possession of it. It comes over to Briar. Briar hits the blue line. Briar shooting score! Ben Briar into the empty net. And that will seal it for Merrimack. You know, it's an insult to say that that's enough because it certainly isn't for this main team. They want to win this game. Right. Lebel pushes it to the goal. A backhander saved by Osman as the buzzer sounds. And Merrimack, for the second consecutive weekend, sweep their Hockey East opponent as the Warriors defeat the Maine Black Bears by a score of 5 to 3. Mike, it wasn't easy. We didn't think it would be. Maine uh, carried the play in the third, but the Warriors come away with the win.